What's going on guys? Uh, I wanted to do a quick update here. Um, my last video I kind of posted a bunch of stuff on what's going on in the summer. So right now I wanted to kind of just post what's going on in more, more detail I guess you'd say. So we sold our Ram 1500. We bought um, an F250 and we've changed our setup from this. This is our F350 dump. This F350 is now going to be landscape only type work. Um, everything but grass. Unless we're behind and we got to jump both trailers on, whatever. So here's the new setup. We have my old personal truck, the Ram 2500, with the 7x14 mowing trailer. Same stuff in there as before. Look at the other videos, the rights, the steel, same as before. Um, I know a big thing. I don't know how to explain this. A lot of people watching these videos, you know, all these landscapers kind of posting their setups and things like that are younger guys or guys starting out. And I've said this in other videos and I'm going to say it for the millionth time, I'm going to try not to keep repeating the same line, but you do not need a dump truck to cut grass. Long story short, on this end, this truck we used to cut grass for the last two summers, two years. Great truck. Love it. That's not the point. But we started that last week. And this was the last two years saved 315 some dollars last week alone cutting grass with that truck on gas compared to that truck so 315 dollars is a lot of money when it comes to fuel um so here's the thing i understand it's a it's it's a four door you know no dump i get it but there's a reason why if you really look around within i guess you'd say the lawn care community community sorry a lot of guys have pickup trucks um and use that you know there, there's one thing let me let me open this up here and get things rolling so there's one thing i've always you know wherever you're from there's always that bigger company and they've been around forever and we're friends with a lot of them around here but they all have dump trucks because that's what you've done you know you'll see a dump truck come out and you know five, three four two guys will pile out of it and that's fine that's i think that's just the the i don't even know if the norm is the word to say i don't even know if that's like or or to say like the way to do it is that because it's not the way to do it you can do it it's like i said we did it and i did it before the dump truck but i mean there are going to be cons to this so yes there's no dumping last week we had a heavy week with rain lately here we're in the northeast we had a good amount of bagging now i can i don't want to say control the length of our lawns but every lawn we have irrigated that's full service i control their irrigation system i don't do turn offs or shut offs or irrigation work i'll make that very clear i'll, I'll fix heads and do things like that we have another company i don't and i don't even sub stuff out guys you know i'm not even going to get involved with those headaches you know we have great companies that do certain things that we recommend and our people that are good people that are willing to pay cuz they you know they, they understand things are the good things aren't cheap nowadays they will call them so but i control how long it's set for how how you know if they don't have like sensors i suggest that i know everything's expensive nowadays but i control all of that i do for our full service ones so we have lawns that aren't growing 2 feet from rain plus irrigation you know it's so we don't even bag a lot to begin with and when we do i mean that bagger will stay on the mower for like six or seven lawns and then fill up you know like because that's how much we we try to control the, the growth when you can i know rain is unpredictable things like that but let's let's get it to here so yes with this truck with any vehicle first of all it's great to have all these seats compared to three sweaty dudes uh sweating next to each other seven days a week anyway yes there's no dump yes so we lay everything down nothing blows out we have all the cans stacked here the bags in the back when the one bag gets full you stand one can up and then you fill that can throw the bag down and then throughout the week we have the cans stood up and actually this week we filled up five out of the seven and had them stacked you go to the dump you get your butt up in the truck and you push the can over it's that simple you don't need to sit there you know crying and i understand there's the pros and cons of this it's you know it's different everywhere across the country with these companies that's what people got to understand in these comments and these videos but 
Now, if that grass was, was, I know for a fact, would be feet high and filled, there's no way, there's no shot I'd be doing this right now. No shot. So, like I said, when the, when the can, when after mowing a few, when the bag's full, stand a can up, go. And do that throughout the week. So, again, this is a Ram 2500. This was my personal. It was a 2018. We got in 2019, left them a lot, so I saved money. Um, four door, real quick, that's a seven by 14. We got the BMW hitch over there in the back, cones. Um, you know, regular pickup, nothing fancy. So back here, we'll go in the truck. You know, uh -huh. and our, our basic setup, you got the center console, everyone and their mother's phone chargers plugged in, things like that. You know, it's, and you, you know, like when we had all this rain during the week, we had everybody in here comfortably. You know what I mean? Or if I had to jump in or something, it's, it's comfortable at all times. You know, you're not squeezing and you don't have like another truck and another, or, or just another truck alone following you around, you know, like some people do. But this has been great. Um, uh, again, you know, this is just plenty of room in the back for everyone's goodies. Um, cooler in the back. This is in the middle, so you can sit on either side. Um, kind of again this is you know nothing nothing fancy in here nothing nothing really to go over but i just wanted to give an update on where we're at with grass now um with our with with our commercials our commercial trailers in the back over there so every other saturday we only have a couple commercials and they're every other week uh, i picked them up in the past not knowing they were commercial properties whatever but um so this truck will go over there and then when it's not needed It'll it'll do landscaping or it'll do something else. The re the reason being, I switched everything over isn't because of fuel, isn't because of anything really, but just when you're younger, you think, oh, you need that eighty thousand dollar dump truck. You need you need this, you need that, and that's what I thought. You know, to be a legit company, you needed a dump truck. Uh, no, you don't. You use use your pickup. Um, I got a new F-250 out there. I'll go over that eventually. Not important. But I decided to use my old personal to pass everything down. We sold the Ram 1500 that used to be parked over there. But I use this because this truck only has uh, 14,000 miles on it since 2018. I don't go far at all, obviously, personally. So that's why we moved this down. And this winter, I am going to experiment. You know, if I'm saving X amount of dollars on fuel because I already have things budgeted throughout the rest of the year then i might get a dumper dog for this truck i don't know you know because obviously obviously people are going to get sick and tired of of doing things because in the fall for cleanups we have that dumb truck that dumb trailer and then someone follows with this setup with our fall our fall equipment in there so this would be great you know especially days with the dumps or the landfills closed and you could just stack everything up but we'll see on that Again, guys, this is just a quick, quick kind of summer, summer update on grass where we're at. I think this is very, I think this is going to work out very well. I really, I really love seeing guys, you know, using their pickups for, for grass, for anything landscaping, you know, lawn care, whatever, you know, they, they, you know, how they make these things nowadays, you know, you can really, and again, this is the 2500 version, no issues yet. I definitely am switching fully over to Ford had a couple weird issues with this the day not the day but the year after i bought it and our ram 1500 had had issues and didn't even have a hundred thousand miles on it like i mean issue issues so i am kind of i am definitely going to phase out of ram but i can tell you this truck's paid off so i'm going to use this truck until you know for a while especially how things are with the economy but that's the setup guys um pretty much just that's the grass setup you know five to six days a week that six is that every other commercial so uh let me know in the comments below um i've been watching a lot of videos of guys that have been running out of your pickups for a while if you got any again these barrels this was a, this wasn't my idea but this was a great idea instead of sitting in the back and using a shovel and rake and making a mess so if you do run out of your pickup, and I did for, for years, don't get me wrong, you look in the old videos, I had that Ram 1500 long bed, and that was that was fine. It wasn't an issue there. I, Christ, you know what what you pay, what I paid for that, you know, it's worked. It's paid itself off in a couple years, and I used that until we couldn't handle the issues anymore. So let me know in the comments below if you 
if you have your pickup set up, if you have any tips or advice on what to do, um, we used to have uh, walls on here. I don't really like that look, to be honest with you, and we don't really need it. But I did, I did think of getting one of those back racks up here, just because uh, you know there was a couple times during the week where both barrels were at the back and these these bags were like right by the window and I was like oh man you know when it comes to things like that that's that's your problem you know my my problem as the owner not not an employee's issues you know their their job is to get the job done you know and and obviously be careful but still that's that's my that's something I that's something I can prevent um again guys that's the setup it's been going on for a week week and a half now almost yeah week and a half almost two weeks let me know in the comments below if you have any tips or advice, if you're running constantly out of a pickup. And I, like I said, this thing's stacked with the cooler, with everyone's stuff. We run five to six days a week grass out of this. So let me know if you have any tips or advice, guys. Thank you.